What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chaos Pro for those that are new to my channel. And today we have another balance update um, review. Basically some cards have been buffed, some cards have been nerfed, some cards have even got an entire rework. And uh, these are some cards that don't normally get touched. So before we go ahead and get into this, if you guys can, please, I work really hard on these videos. If you can, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Uh, it, it means so much to my channel as we're trying to hit uh, 5,000 subscribers. Um, but yeah, why don't we go ahead and get into the news. So Mojo is going to be going from a 2-2 two -two to a 2-2. Two -two. Still the same power, um, same you know cost, but he's going to get a brand new ability. His old ability was if both players have four cards at this location, plus six power, um, and the new ability is if both sides are full plus six power. So it's kind of interesting. Basically now it's, it's, it's going to be getting, I guess, both sides. So, uh, I don't know if it's entirely a description, if it's both sides of multiple locations, but pretty much he is just going to be getting an entirely brand new, uh, I guess, text change. It says right here, developer note, this is just a minor consistency adjustment, bringing Mojo in line with this Dazzler and the way she cares about full locations versus a specific number of cards at the location. Um, we'll continue exploring uh, exactly where and how to draw the li that line. For example, Ant-Man requires his teammates to get his buff uh, feels slightly more uh, res res resonant, resonant? Uh, resonant? I don't even know. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's more likely than not uh, he'll get this treatment next. Um, so pretty much, I guess I, I guess it's your side. I guess you're both late. Your side of your lanes. I don't think it matters on your opponents anymore. It just says both sides. So that's kind of cool. Um, we're going to be, I guess Yatu is going to be getting a complete new rework. He's going to be going from a 1-2 a to a 1-1. One, one. Uh, his original ability was once in, this is in your hand, you can see the unrevealed locations. A lot of people wanted this change for a while, and now he's kind of getting something kind of cool. He's going to be going, he's going, now going to become a 1-1, one, one, and uh, at the start of the game, show the right location to you so i guess you don't see the middle location anymore but you can see the right regardless if he's in your hand i think that's freaking fantastic i think that's really cool and uh you know it kind of gives you a perspective about how the turn threes are gonna be um mantis is gonna be going from a one two to a two three uh they don't really have anything in particular about why they did this but um I guess they're just changing the card to make her have a little bit more power, um, which is kind of cool. She's got a little bit more cost, but she can't be killed anymore by um, Killmonger, which is also really interesting because pool one, Mantis was a part of the original zoo deck. So I guess that's going to be kind of taken out. Cable is going to be going from a 2-2 two -two to a 3-4. Uh, I guess, you know... I would say probably things with like collector cards like uh, Mirage, you know, cards like those kind of conflicted of when and how you would use Cable. But it is interesting now that you can take a card on turn three, even though um, you won't be able to take a card early on from your opponent, um, it'll now be in line with Silver Surfer decks. So that's pretty cool. Actually, that's pretty interesting considering that now you can do cable into surfer you know dino decks so that would be kind of interesting maria hill is going to be going from a two three to a one two so i guess mantis and her are switching in terms of power um and then it basically says here uh add a one or two cost card to your hand it is now going to be a one cost card that basically gives you a two cost card in hand so she's kind of aligning herself more consistent with uh, how I would say uh, Agent 13 and Agent Coulson kind of work out. It's kind of nice that you know you get the, those early costs because originally you never really had a way to just pull a consistent two cost out. So that's kind of cool. Uh, developer note says these adjustments are are all related 
Uh, so we'll go over them as a group. These three cards, along with Agent 13, Sentinel, and Snow Guard, make up a cardy of char a, a card of characters that all add a card to your hand for a cheap cost under difficult circumstances. However, they are also all overlapping one another a fair bit, existing in a tight range of cost and power combinations. Uh, we'd like to break that up a little bit to build in some differentiation, differ, differentiations uh, as to how they are used and where they might be played. It's unlikely that this is the last week to this group we'll, we'll make, but it should get the ball rolling and let us see more clearly how the live game values what each card is uniquely capable of bringing. So it's kind of cool. I mean, I'm kind of cool with a lot of these changes considering that a lot of these cards were used um, a good amount of them were used in collector decks and Loki decks, so it'll be interesting. And then especially with Mojo's change and Dazzler, considering that those cards will most likely see a lot more play with the Elsa Bloodstone card that's coming up today. So that'll be interesting. And, uh, yeah, well, with that being said, guys, if you guys can't, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I will be seeing you guys in the next one. And don't, don't, uh, don't be afraid to, uh, stop by when I'm streaming. But uh, other than that, guys, I will see you guys later. Peace.